Welcome back to the channel guys. Guess what? We've had our first snow day. November the 16th. First snow in New Brunswick. Stay tuned. And there's the plow truck making its first go around. It's our turn to take the plow truck and go home and scrape out the driveway. Well, after that little storm we had yesterday, it's time to get these cars cleaned off. So the first storm of the season, time to start scraping. By the way, have I told you how much I hate cleaning cars off? socks and snow boots don't mix okay guys even though I promised you in the last video that we were going to do a distance to empty run in the Nissan Versa well as you can see behind me the weather is not great so we're gonna have to delay this one for a little while not to mention the fact that I think we have the Nissan Versa sold so we're gonna choose another vehicle here real quick and we'll make sure that I get that video up to you in no time so instead what we're going to do is we have got four winter wheels and tires that we've got to put on my wife's veloster so we are going to come back here after supper and we're going to mount and balance four snow tires we're going to get them mounted on the veloster and get that car ready to roll so let's do it right now okay guys it's after supper i've got my wife's car in here and we have four wheels four tires I've got one of them on here on the tire changer and we are going to get the car up in the air and we're going to mount and balance these four, get them swapped out because it's storming right now and my wife has been stuck twice in the parking lot at her work. So to keep her from talking really, really loud and a lot, we <laughs> are going to get her fixed up, make her safe and we're going to talk a little bit about why we changed the tire size on this vehicle. So, before we get into this though, Old Car Auto Guy t-shirts are available in the first link in the description box below. You can get your very own multiple colors, different sizes available. Do it now. So guys, as you can see, this vehicle has the lock nuts on it. Don't ever put lock nuts on your vehicle. For the simple fact that the lock key, which is right here, usually gets lost or forgotten somewhere. And we're guilty. And uh, trust me, if your mechanic can't get the nuts off without damaging something, 
neither can a thief. So they're safe that way, but uh, they are a pain in the butt when it comes time to get a customer's vehicle, uh, customer's wheels off, and uh, there's no lock nut to be found. So, word to the wise, take them off, throw them out, put the regular ones back on. Just saying. So you can see that we've got the winter tire in a 16 inch here and the all season tire in an 18 inch here. So people are gonna ask, why would you go with a 16 inch tire in the winter versus these? Well, low profile tires are so stinking wide that if you look at the difference between the two tires side by side, you'll see the difference in width. This one is like huge, whereas this one's a little bit narrower. Narrow tires are gonna get through the snow a lot easier. So these tires here are a 205 55 16, and these ones are 235 40 18. So one of the reasons, uh, another one of the reasons why we went with the 16 inch tire with the black wheel is because for me to find a tire in this 18 inch tire size was gonna be almost $200 per tire. So for about $55 a piece for the rims and about a hundred bucks a piece for the tires, I'm ahead of the game by 50 bucks. So I do this and it's a quick 10 minute job in the spring and in the fall to change these tires out one way or the other. So that's why we did it. We're gonna put these down now. Now you'll notice that these particular tires are directional. The direction uh, will point forward and there's generally indicators on the sidewall that tell you which way the tires have got to go on. So when we're putting tires on the rims, we've got to remember that there is a left and a right. Those things right there. <clears throat> That's one of them, but it also says right here, rotation. So it lets you know that that tire has to roll forward when it's on the rim. So when you are putting tires on the rim, although each tire is the exact same way, you got to know whether you're putting it on, on the left-hand side of the car or the right. And I've got my beautiful wife holding the camera for me this evening. Hi, honey. Say hi to the folks on uh, YouTube's. He's sucking up. Sucking up because I'm about two weeks late getting these tires on. <laughs> and you'll notice that I'm using this torque stick to put the wheels on. The reason why I use a torque stick is because these are pre-torqued for 100, uh, 100 foot-pounds, uh, which is what you would use on a steel wheel. And anytime you change wheels from aluminum to steel, you want to put about 100 kilometers or 60 miles on uh, and come back to the garage that you had them put on at and get them retorqued because they can tend to back off the lug nuts. Did you get that, honey? So what, I'm supposed to go back? Yeah, go back to your garage. So if you guys don't know, these Velosters are based on the same platform as a Hyundai Accent. And those Accents come base with, I think, 14, maybe 15 inch tires. So I went with 16s. I could have gone down at least one more size. I think the brakes still would have fit. Excuse me, sir. Excuse me. Is, is that the right way to put those on? It is. Why are you not torquing those? I am. Torque stick. I just explained that. Were you not paying attention? You were holding the freaking camera. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that'll go in the video. Do the hubcaps? Nope. Really? I gotta, I gotta freaking drive around yep. like that. Yep. We're not putting cheap old hubcaps on a freaking sports car. That looks terrible. Yeah, so the hubcaps. <laughs> Okay guys, so there we have it. We've got four winter wheels and tires installed on my wife's vehicle and uh, we should be ready for the winter now with that. So yes, we are back into our second storm of the season. Only about a, less than a week apart and uh, so winter has got an early start on us here in New Brunswick. And from what I can tell from some of the other YouTubers that I watch, they have got snow down in Pennsylvania as well. So guys, Remember that right now we have the contest on until January 31st, that if you're a subscriber and we reach 1,000 subscribers before January 31st, I'm giving away $1,000 cash. Please share with your friends, like this video, comment down below, guys. I really appreciate all the love that you've been giving me. We reached 400 subscribers this week and I'll be giving away a t-shirt because of that milestone. 
Stay focused on the windshield, not the rear view mirror. Guys, I love you, God bless. We will see you in the next upload. having way too much fun. Hey baby, wanna go for a ride? I don't think I wanna get in with you. <laughs>